Good morning, fans of Privateer FX. Coming at you Tuesday, March 12th. Brexit vote day today will be the focus. Uh, we also have US CPI, some Fed speakers. Bernard is uh, speaking. You, and we have, I guess we have the Wells Fargo uh, CEO in front of the house today. So if you own any banking stocks, probably worth watching that. Big ramp in stocks yesterday, as we talked about, doesn't make too much sense to us. Often people ask me why um, why I follow candlesticks. Um, because patterns in candlesticks help ease the irrationality of trading. We saw this bar right here, doji, uh, big tail, looks like a turn bar. If it looks like a turn bar, quacks like a turn bar, it's a turn bar. So thankfully we hedged um, a fair bit of our stuff there, 2740. We'll be easing out of these hedges here, um, 2805. So we're at 2795 now, cool, cool 70 handles higher from the Friday lows. This looks range bound to us still as we talked about all last week we still expect some sort of surprise move above 2820 before the resumption of the downtrend um, so you gotta keep your powder dry you gotta stay flexible um, and recognize that this is S&P's um, they go up as easily as they go down and in fact you know 80 percent of the days are up days right so just keep it in mind. Don't be surprised. Don't be angry. A lot of, a lot of friends of mine are like shocked and, and asking me what happened, what happened, what happened, what's going on, which just means to me that there's a lot of b pain being taken in this trade, um, as in the S and P short trade. I urge everyone to be flexible. Um, look both ways. This isn't going to collapse to twenty four hundred. Uh, in a straight line uh, well at least it won't this week um, so here we are in the currency space we're still looking to sell these euros uh, up at 75 we traded up to 73 last night I did not have any orders in um, so I didn't sell any up there it's a shame really because now second time up today uh, it's not as strong so be careful with this. This could easily squeeze as well uh, with Euro Yen squeezing higher up to 25, 125.28. The real resistance in Euro Yen is until 126 figure 10. So got a lot of fresh air here. Could easily just kind of float higher if we get a benign CPI. If uh, Brainerd is dovish, or uh, God forbid, um, they solve this Brexit puzzle, uh, which seems unlikely to me, but God knows. But if they do, it'll be good for Euro, it'll be good for Euro Yen, it'll be good for risk in general. Speaking of Brexit, let's have a look at this cable. Um, cable is kind of saying that we're getting close to a, some sort of resolution. I, I totally don't understand this at all. Um, but check out this last two days in cable. 129.80 all the way up to 132.88 last night. That's not a misprint. 132.88. This is a combination of, of people who are short. Um, and I guess... I don't know. People believe that May's deal is gonna is gonna uh, pass today. I can't. I can't possibly uh, see that as being true. But anyway, um, they're gonna vote tonight. It'll be in the evening time, UK time. All I can say is keep an eye on the news wires. Keep an eye on the charts. We are not playing with this. Um, we will have a look at things if we do approach uh, the year's highs, which are 133.50. Um, 
otherwise we are we're just lost I don't really understand this at all so when you don't understand and you're not in tune with the price um, just don't trade it there's always another trade you know um, don't care really I'm sick of Brexit and we'll just have to see what happens Move me, moving further afield dollar Swiss remains bid um, and you gotta really watch this DXY which has come off a bit but uh, price is above 97.70 now in, in DXY our colleagues in the states pointed this out on the weekend edition this is massive so you really want to keep a close eye on 97.70 if this is going to break dollar swiss will continue to go higher um, we all remember 101.20 was the high last week fairly fairly little resistance 101.70 is next dollar swiss looks bid um, again this could also be a brexit you know brexit move euro swiss has cruised higher um, on hopes that brexit is finally finally solved um, but again i won't even venture a guess i mean my guess is brexit is not solved and there'll be some kerfuffle tonight um, and cable will get slammed but no dog in that fight so just kind of watching it from afar what else is out there uh, Aussie mildly bid but not really doing much uh, we printed a high of 81 the next big moment is 70 cents so you know we've kind of given up on core short Aussie for now and we're just waiting for some more negative bars here to get us back in the rhythm of the downside um, dollar cad the same this looks like it's going to squeeze lower. Crude is higher. It's been very, very bid. Uh, so expecting more squeezes is basically the theme today. If I were going to throw uh, throw some darts out there and say what's the range in uh, Euro going to be, I would say it's going to be 35.85. Um, not a whole lot of news, not a whole lot to sink our teeth into until the end of the evening when the Brexit vote happens. So we're just expecting sloppy ranges uh, for today's today's FX. Quickly over to the boons. We talked about this. Uh, if you're short boons or you're long German rates, whichever way you want to talk about it, here's the rate chart. Again, you see this bar here. We think this is the low and going to be a turn bar. Yesterday was inside. Today, ideally, you want these these boons to trade through eight basis points on their way back up to 20 basis points and we actually think they're going to go to 25 basis points it's about 200 points on the boons chart is our target um, inside day yesterday so not a lot to talk about but we're just following this closely because this sort of five basis points to zero basis points uh, is psychologically very very important uh, for Germany not really much to sink our teeth into uh, today in FX again like I said we're just waiting for Brexit we do have US CPI we are square on the tactical book in FX um, we will be looking to sell rallies uh, in euro but we will be careful now because we've already been up to 75 one time second time it's it'll be it's less powerful so what can I say uh, guns are kinda down and we're kind of wait in waiting mode good luck out there guys make make some money today and uh, I will see you tomorrow